Now, I've been reading through a lot of the comments recently from our videos. I've read through some wherein people have been complaining about having issues with AMD CADs. And I'm guessing most of these guys are actually new to the AMD hardware or has recently jumped to AMD from NVIDIA. And one of the main things that causes issues with your Radeon CAD is when you haven't uninstalled properly the NVIDIA drivers, or if you're jumping from NVIDIA and you haven't installed your uh, AMD drivers properly as well. Well, I've even asked a question on our community chat if there are people new of DDU and there were actually a significant amount of you guys who don't know that it exists and I'm not sure there, there are some that are trolling in there yeah. as well. Anyway, this made me realize that actually I need to make a guide that is up to date like 2025 on how I set up my stuff when I'm swapping over to a a Radeon card. So in this case, we have an RTX 3080 and we're going to swap it to an RX 9070 XT. Okay, let's start with this one. The first thing that you'll need is you're going to download the AMD driver and a program called DDU. So let's do that. Let's go DDU. Right. And usually it's the first link. So we're just going to download that one. It's got from Guru 3D. Just download that, pick mirror, and it's there. Right, and the other thing that we need to download is the AMD driver. So in this case, we'll just go RX 9070 XT driver. You know, just do a Google search. It's usually this one, right? All right, and make sure it's the AMD um, uh, website as well. All right, so we got RX 9070 XT drivers, and we're gonna pick our um, OS. So for in our case, we are we're using Windows 10. So we're just going to pick this one, right? Adrenaline 25.4.1 usually. I'd like to pick the, um, the latest driver, even though it's an optional driver. All right, we've done that. So we've done both of our drivers there. So we have, go to our downloads. We have DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller and the AMD um, Adrenaline software. And before we proceed, you need to restart your computer and enable actually safe mode. So to do that, you can go like click on start, just tap safe mode, and usually pick this one, change advanced startup options, and just click on this one, right? Restart, we'll do that. And click on this one, troubleshoot, advanced options. There we go, startup settings. And this is what we want to see. And then restart. Okay. Now you should see something like this. And you just type in number four, right? The fourth option, which is enable safe mode. Okay. Now we're technically in safe mode. Here we can open our uh, downloads. Now we're going to extract this one, the DDU. Extract here. All right, you will run it to this one. So just run this program here, extract, and once again, and then, um, yeah. All right, okay. Now you will be greeted with this option. So what we want to do is we want to remove uh, physics and you want to go down as well and make sure this one is ticked as well. Prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update. All right, so on the options, you want to uh, select those options. Okay, and then we got GPU, and obviously this is an RTX 3080, so we're going to select NVIDIA. Okay, and we're going to click this one, clean and shut down, right? Because we're swapping over from the RTX 3080 to our RX 9070 XT. So clean and shut down. Right, and now it will shut down. Now, after this, we will now swap out our graphics card from RTX 3080. We gotta take it out and then put our RX 9070 XT into our system and then boot. Okay, so we're gonna boot our system with the AMD card. We should be booting into Windows now and it will look like this initially. This is fine. All right, don't worry, we've got the drivers. Now I'm going to walk you through how I set up my drivers, my AMD drivers. And let's talk about the features too. I'm going to open to our downloads in here. There's our AMD driver, 25.4.1. Just run that. 
and we just let this do its thing. Now in here, I just normally just um, set it as um, accept and express install. There, there you can um, choose factory reset, but I normally just leave it like that. And here you will see some flickering on the screen. This is totally fine. Great. And I just untick this one and I just leave this one. Tick. All right. And you will be on this screen. I just normally just skip this. I don't set all of this up one by one. I will just let you know how I set it up myself. So I'll skip, go settings. This will display your um, your system details. I just go to display. And in here, I normally enable GPU scaling. All right. And then when we go to uh, gaming, uh, we go graphics and we are GPU one. I enable this, very important. You need to enable FSR four. Um, Anti-lag, I tend to just disable this. Um, you'll have to test because anti-lag seems to be inconsistent in my experience. There are some games wherein it will work fine and there are some games wherein it will make it worse. So I just leave it off and then it'll be up to you to experiment. Um, I do turn this on, image sharpening too. And that's basically it. That's everything I turn, turn on for um, my options here. And then we go to uh, performance and tuning and in here i just want to make sure that like smart access uh, memory is enabled if you've got sam in your system and if you want to tune your um your fan settings you can do it here right go custom and you can do those fan tuning here all right all right so you can set a, a fan curve and basically that's it that's what I set up with my um, AMD system. I mean, some people will set up their, uh, you know, their recording and all uh, the recording settings, um, all the stuff, but I don't do that. I just leave it like this. That's, this is how I set up my AMD drivers. Simple. Obviously you're free to experiment, but this is just how I run this one. Simple, easy. And just for good measure, I restart the PC one more time and you're good to go right quick simple and you shouldn't have any issues with uh, your, your amd card while you're gaming or doing stuff if you did this uh, correctly now if this video has helped you or if there's something that is different to what i do just let me know in the comment section and i'm um, hitting the like button is very much appreciated thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video